Before we put the coffee table in place, we decided to do one more quick and easy wall makeover. Every 80s and 90s kid has seen this coffee table in their parents' or grandparents' home. The frame is actually a solid wood, mostly solid teak wood. The top a plywood and somehow they find the most ugliest laminate to go on it. And even after 35 to 40 years, it's nice and strong and sturdy. It's just that it's ugly. So here is an easy way to give it a little makeover. The first thing, however, is to clean it thoroughly and remove any raised gunk that it has. I found this marble peel and stick wallpaper at Mr. DIY store in Bareilly. The MRP showed 290 it was on a discount and I found it at 250 It's easy to install, wipeable and looks great. So what I'm going to do is align it properly to the edge so that a little bit of that teak wood beading is, is seen. I'm using one of the edges to align it straight because when you are peeling and sticking, you don't want it to go sideways. And then it's a matter of sticking one side and then using a piece of cloth to smooth it out slowly. You don't want any air bubbles. So what we're doing is we are actually pushing the air out from one side and peeling it off. And if you do find air bubbles, you'll just have to poke a little hole with a safety pin and then smooth it out with a piece of cloth. Here I'm using a small strip to finish the leftover portion. To trim the edges, you need a nice sharp board. Here I'm using a little credit card kind of a thing to make sure that the edges are properly stuck. And then um, I'm going to push the blade from the bottom to cut and trim the excess. I found this co uh, coffee table in, in the home of my artist friend Ashish Agarwal and, and when we were exploring the Mr. DIY store in Bareilly, um, I saw the peel and stick wallpaper and I was like, it's a match made in heaven. So here you can see I slowly pushed the blade through and now uh, very gently cutting the excess off. This part needs to be done really gently so that you're not cutting um, or tearing off through the wa wallpaper where it is supposed to stick with the laminate. So even if you, there's a little more extra left, you can slowly trim it with a nice sharp blade. And that's about it. It's done. This coffee table also had a bottom, which I think I forgot to film. But... Once it's, it was completely done and all trimmed, this is how it looks. I think the marble contact paper perfectly complements the warm wood tone of the frame. And the, a contact paper is um, actually vinyl in material. So it is waterproof, it is easy to wipe off and gets done really quickly. Before we put the coffee table in place, we decided to do one more quick and easy wall makeover. We cut out a little stencil from an old file folder. If you've been following me on Instagram, you know this DIY went viral in 2020 during the lockdown. Before you do any wall makeover, always make sure you remove the dust from it with a broom or a cloth. And here I'm positioning it... Um, and simply making the little stencils. In fact, I I don't measure when I paint, but you can use a scale to get exact measurements. This process actually took about 36 or 37 minutes and it was complete. And since Ashish is an artist, he added little details to the stencil with the Posca pen. the kind of details, line drawings that you will find in probably a gold painting. You can find Ashi's Instagram profile in the description. And once we were done, it was time to put the gallery back. And this 
is how it turned out you can do simple things around the house and make it look absolutely stunning you don't need to spend a lot of money on doing a makeover and i want my channel to highlight those things i want you to pour your good energy into your home and make simple changes and make it look 10 times better and nicer this is an artist's home and you can see that he has collected a lot of beautiful objects for his home and i added my little bit to his home and i think it elevated his style a little bit what do you think i hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next one